Are you ill and dejected, finding no meaning in life? Have you lost all charms in life due to your illness or disability? If yes, you are at the right place now. Don't leave until the secrets of happiness and contentment are revealed to you. Life is not a bed of roses or a pleasant journey to move on. There are ups and downs in life. It brings hard times to all. Illness, trouble, fear and love mess with you no matter how rich you are. Everybody has to deal with their unique set of difficulties. You may maintain your composure under pressure by learning to overcome obstacles. Life gives you problems to solve, but keeping a calm attitude can help you get through them. Today, we are going to talk about the importance of embracing stoicism in the face of illness and disability. Look at these five great ways to find strength and resilience when you are ill or disabled. Do not leave now you will not regret it. Number one, acceptance and adaptation. Acceptance and adaptation are the fundamental principles of stoicism. Take a moment to see what's really going on with you, whether it's an illness or anything else. Simply accept that some things are out of your control. Accept the present, be thankful for the chances it gives you, and try to live a wise and good life. Once you accept things as they are, you are on the way to a positive and pleasant change. The goal of Stoicism is to get stronger, braver and smarter. Start working on your inner self instead of thinking about what's going on in the outside world. It helps you a lot when you are ill or dealing with problems. According to Stoicism, you should be thankful for the present. Whatever the situation is, always find something good to be thankful for. Feelings of acceptance and adaptation can change the way you see things. Knowing the difference between what you think and what you feel is important for Stoicism. You can choose how to react to things. You may either accept them or reject them, but rejection leads you to close your eyes to realities and enter darkness. Don't forget that acceptance and adaptation help you live in the present, fight with your illness, and get out of it ultimately. Number two, enhance your inner strength. You can find happiness and peace even by working on your inner strength. When you are sick, your experiences, even the hard ones, shape who you are and give you chances to learn and grow. It hits you all of a sudden how much you take your bodies for granted. You can no longer work, breathe, walk, write or listen. You are sick and have a lot of aches, pains and other signs. In such a situation, the thing that makes you fight with all these pains is your inner strength. It helps you make your way down life's twisting and often hard road. It leads you to develop a positive attitude and outlook on the harsh realities of life. It also brings self-compassion, emotional intelligence, self-esteem, tolerance, self-regulation and resilience. Being strong inside is important for a happy, loving and successful life. It makes you less reactive and stressed, heals mental scars and boosts your endurance, well-being and happiness in life. It pushes you to take advantage of chances, start good habits, and be successful. It strengthens your immune system, keeps your heart healthy, and helps you live a better and longer life, even in the face of illness or disability. If you think too much how to heal your body, you will feel stressed and anxious. Think about the light you want to come out from behind the shadows. Think about happiness and a strong desire to live. Make yourself realize that you genuinely want to feel better. Take part in your life, live it, feel it, be it, and return to being whole. You will defeat your illness if you enhance your inner strength to think more positively and productively. Number three, seeking support and connection. Contrary to the false belief that stoicism encourages isolation, it emphasizes getting support and increasing connectivity. 
Get help from people who have been through the painful illness in their lives. It will help you feel better and effectively deal with your illness. Stoicism does not mean hiding your emotions. Instead, it pushes you to see them for what they are and be kind to yourself. Think about what you will leave behind too. You can feel fulfilled and important when thinking about what you can do to help others. Your hobbies, relationships and what you do for others can also bring you value and happiness. It's important to remember that your happiness and sense of self-worth are not tied to what happens in the outside world. Instead, our inner values and our ability to handle life's events in a smart and caring way are what make us truly happy. Take what's happening to you as a chance to grow, increasing your social circles and support from others. This way, you will discover that life can be full of meaning and happiness, even when painful and stiff. Those that help you do it due to their genuine concern for you. Stay receptive to getting assistance as required. It's acceptable to seek for assistance without feeling guilty. There are those that want to see you succeed, whether you decide to rely on a friend, mentor, loved one or stranger. Number four, practice self-compassion. It would help if you acknowledge the feelings of pain and anxiety are the realities you have to deal with. Creating space for what has happened helps you find out how you've been connecting to it up until now. Your mind may have been racing with different possible results while you were trying to busy yourself or put off taking action. It would help if you kept in mind that self-compassion is a practice where you give yourself time to settle down and figure out what you need the most. It may take time and effort to happen Setting the desire to be kind to yourself, even when you don't feel like it, is helpful because it points you in a new direction with a chance to defeat your illness. When you are unsure what to do, self-compassion can mean understanding when to ask for help from others and being honest with friends and family. There's a chance you don't have all the answers right now, but things will work out sooner or later. Staying in touch with what's happening now will help you take good care of yourself. Number five, power of gratitude. Stoicism firmly believes in the power of gratitude. It encourages you to be grateful for the present moment. There is always something to be grateful for in life, no matter how difficult it is. You should thank your life for letting you go through all the things you're going through and will go through in the future. Put yourself in the shoes of someone whose house was destroyed, with nothing left to cling to. Take stock of your surroundings and count your blessings. Everything, even the most essential things, like the cup that contains your drink and the chair that supports your body, should be appreciated. Instead of lamenting on things you don't have, focus on the blessings in your life. Being grateful can change how you see things and make you feel at peace. A grateful mindset can make the difference between surviving and truly succeeding for many people suffering from a chronic disease. No matter how long you've had a chronic condition or how recently you were diagnosed, it can feel like your whole life has been turned upside down. Being grateful is strongly linked to being happier. It makes you happier and helps you enjoy good times, stay healthy, deal with problems and strengthen your connections. Gratitude brings several mental and physical benefits like better sleep, a happy mood and inner strength. It can make you less likely to get depressed, anxious, have trouble with constant pain and get sick. Stoicism is a genuinely amazing philosophy that is worth studying in depth. This philosophy can also be constructive for you in different ways. The way it ties together science, ethics and reasoning is really unique. It fits in well with modern science because the way it works is easy to understand. Besides that, it can help you accept your condition, get stronger and more determined, feel happier and more grateful, 
and see things from a different perspective. To deal with problems and give your life meaning and purpose, you must follow the ideals of Stoicism. Life is a gift that should not be thrown away. Remember that in the end, we are all on our own, so make yourself your best friend and have faith in yourself, knowing that you can do everything you set your mind to. Be aware of it and have faith in it. No matter how challenging it may be, it would help if you made an effort to conquer your anxieties and embrace the life you are living. This demonstrates true power. Remove worries, anxieties and fears from your mind. Take a different approach to thinking about things. The process will not be completed overnight, but you will make progress step by step, feeling a pleasant change in your mind and body. If you like this video and want to get more, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel, as there are many more to come. Thanks for watching. Until next time.